Hi everyone, my name is Hussein Ali and I'm a technical marketing engineer within the collaboration business unit responsible for WebEx calling. In this video, we will talk about the call recording option for WebEx calling deployment and give you a quick demo of the feature as well. The call recording feature provides a hosted mechanism for WebEx calling customers to record their calls placed or received on the WebEx calling platform for replay and archival. It is deployed as a hybrid feature where the WebEx calling platform enables the call recording while the storage and management of recorded calls is delivered via a Solution Plus partner by the name Dubber. So how does Dubber work in a WebEx calling environment? If a user is enabled for call recording within Control Hub, then when a call is made to or from that user, the call is forked to Dubber via an extended SIP invite message. In this way, WebEx calling partners have the option to meet customer requirements for business process, regulatory or other standards compliance needed for recording calls. Setting up call recording can be divided into two steps, ordering and provisioning. First, the partner purchases through CCW and establishes an agreement with Dubber and creates a partner account. Then the partner has the option to sell the WebEx calling call recording to a WebEx calling customer and also enable the same customer for this option within the control hub. The partner then creates a customer account for double portal access. When it comes to provisioning, it can either be done by the partner or the end customer administrator. Either the customer, admin, or the partner assigns the call recording license to an end user and configures the settings of this feature, such as always on recording or pause resume option. Then the partner or the customer admin creates an end user profile and dub points in the Dubber portal using data from Control Hub for this end user so that the calls can be, the call recordings can be linked and retrieved. Let's go through the steps of how to configure this. First, the partner will log into the Control Hub, select their customer, and then enable call recording for this customer. Then the admin logs into the Control Hub, selects the user, goes into the calling option, and then clicks on advanced call settings. From there, the admin can select call recording and turn it on for this end user. You can see in the red box, three key pieces of information, the service provider, the external group, and the external identifier. This is the information that is used to build the customer profile and the dub points so that all call recordings from this end user can be linked within the Dubber platform and can be easily retrieved. And then at the bottom of this page, you can see the option to configure different feature settings for this call recording feature, such as always on recordings or have the option to pause and resume call recording or even play a recording start stop announcement for both the parties of the call during the call. We then log in into the Dubber uh, portal as a customer admin. We will go to the settings. From the settings, we'll select account, and then we will click on, we will go to the people tab and click on add person so that we can add this end user within the Dubber portal. We will select them as standard user, select the, or input their username, verify it, and give uh, input their first and last name, and click on save changes. Now this user is created within the Dubber platform. And now we will have to link this uh, user to the recordings. So for this particular user, for the same user, we now go to the dub points. We click on add a dub point and we get dub points from the control hub for within the control hub. We will go to this user and in the call recording option, as I showed you before, we have these three options over here, which we copy and populate for the dub point and then select call dub as the product. At this point, once we click save changes, all call recordings from this end user will be sent to the Dubber platform and can easily be identified and linked to this end user. As of this video recording, the call recording feature is only available to the MPP phone, the WebEx calling application, and the ATA device. It is not available for the WebEx, call, WebEx Teams application, uh, but it will be available, call recording within the WebEx calling will be available for the WebEx Teams application pretty soon. Once a call is recorded, 
it can be indicated as having an active recording with the circle on the MPP phone, you can see the circle display, or on the WebEx calling application, you see a red dot that indicates this call is being recorded. The customer admin can retrieve recordings for all the end users belonging to the WebEx calling organization, or can also enable individual end users to retrieve their own respective recordings, which when you log into the Dubber portal, you can see as shown over here. For more information, go to the help.webex.com links as shown over here. Now we will show you a quick demo of this feature. We will place a call from an MPP phone to a WebEx calling application, and one of the users has been enabled for the call recording feature, and we will see the red dot that shows that this call is being recorded. For the duration of that demo, uh, I will be putting myself on the mute so that you can see the call being recorded on the same PC on which I have this uh, recording being done. Now I will go to the Dubber. From the Dubber portal, we will see how the recordings show up. I'm logged in as the customer admin, and you can see the recording shows up over here for the call. Thank you for watching the video.